His favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children. Uh, good morning, Pastor Bimi. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. Praise the Lord for this beautiful day. Indeed, it is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let's just um, start by thanking God for who he is. Let's, let's give God praise. Let's honor our maker. Let's bless our father. Let's lift up his name. Let's just sing a new song in the spirit. If we can just worship him. Lift him up. Psalm 34 verse 1 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Let us lift up our voices and bless the Lord. The psalm tells us to bless the Lord at all times. That means things are looking good or things seem not to be looking good, we will bless the Lord. Lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord this morning. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We love you. We honor you. We lift you up. We magnify you, Lord. We amplify you. We praise you from the bottom of our heart. And we ask that you take your place on the throne of our hearts. Dear God, we thank you. We love you. We honor you. Oh, we thank you for the things that you've done. We thank you for the things that you are doing. We thank you for what you will still do. Oh, we bless you for where we are on the way to where we are going. Oh, sweet Jesus, thank you, thank you. Bless the name of the Lord, everyone. Bless the name of the Lord. He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our honor. He is worthy of our adoration. He is God over all the earth, over all the heavens. Father, Lord, we praise you. We will bless you at all times. May your praise continually be in our mouths. We bless your name, O oh God. We bless your name, Almighty God. We bow before you, King of kings, Lord of Lords, mighty man of war, we worship you. We worship you. Oh, lift up your voices and bless the name of our God. Oh, this Jesus, this Jesus, who did not count it robbery to be equal with God, yet left the throne and came down to die for you and I, Mareboshe. But the beautiful thing is that he didn't remain dead. He got up again. He rose. And now he has the highest place. He has the highest seat. He has the highest position at the right hand of God the Father. Bless his name. It was for you and me. We are grateful, oh God. We are grateful, oh God. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Let us make it a continuous habit to bless the Lord all the time in the name of Jesus. Hmm. Hallelujah. Proverbs 22, 6. May we just go to Proverbs 22, 6. And because of time, I'm just going to be reading and I trust that we'll all be able to just catch up with it and read as well or listen through. Proverbs 22, 6, using the New King James Version. And it reads, train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Train up a child in the way that he should go, and when he grows, he will not depart from it. Before we start praying for our children, let us pray that as parents or as people, guardians who, have, who God has given the authority or the permission to look 
after children or some, some child or the other, that God will give us the wisdom to train these children in the way that they should go, that will train them in the way of the Lord, in the things of God, that Jesus will be their first and their greatest interest in life. Let's begin to pray that as guardians, as parents, as mentors, as people that they will look up to, for example, that we will not falter in the way that we train them. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, strengthen us, O oh God, in our hearts and in our minds and the way that we do things. Help us, O oh God, to be worthy guardians and parents and mentors and teachers for our children. In the name of Jesus, we want to train them up in the way that they should go, that when they are old, when they are grown, my labels, and when they are on their own, they will not depart from this way. In the name of Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord God Almighty, give us the specifics to train your children, that you are put in our custody, that you are put in our care, because these children belong to you, oh God. We are just custodians of these beautiful gifts that you are permitted us to look after Monday bro Sunday we won't lead them wrong we won't teach them wrong in the name of Jesus must captivate our own hearts Malebo Sandarama Sekete Prokatira Bo Sandarama that when we teach them that when we train them it is Jesus that will be the underlying factor Jesus will be the watchword Jesus Malebo Sand alone Masondorobo Sandarama Regeboja in everything that we think in everything that we do and in everything that we say in the name of Jesus, we bless you, Lord, for helping us. We thank you for helping us in the way that we should go, teaching our children, showing them the way showing them the truth, showing them true life, showing them light, showing them who you are at all times. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Uh, Pastor Bimi, I don't know if the rights have been adjusted so that we can unmute and then mute when necessary. No, I am. Um, they've given the host to someone else. Nick? Okay. That's okay. If we can no, hold on. Okay. Okay. Nick, let me sort it out. You continue. I can see that they haven't given you the host right. So let me let me sort that out. No problem. Okay. Okay. Can we, can we, yes, ma'am. Can we all go to Galatians in chapter five? Galatians chapter 5, we'll read verses 22 and 23. This is a very vital aspect of the lives of our children. This is a very important aspect of the lives of the ones that we are leading, the ones that we are teaching, the, the ones that we are growing. And it reads, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no law, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, and there is no law against these things. I could not help but to notice that it just says fruit. That means the, the entirety of these, these attributes are one but nine dimensional. That means to have the fruit of the spirit is to have all these attributes and one cannot be missing. So let us pray that God will grant our children the fruit of the spirit and they will manifest in all these ways. They will manifest in joy, in peace, long-suffering patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, 
that there will be nothing that can attack them or stop them from being who they are as they manifest this fruit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for delivering the fruit of the Spirit by your Spirit to your children. The Spirit of love, the Spirit of joy, the Spirit of peace, the Spirit of patience, the Spirit of kindness, the Spirit of goodness, the Spirit of faithfulness, the Spirit of gentleness and self-control. There is no law against this fruit. Lord, we ask that our children will manifest this fruit in the name of Jesus. will manifest this fruit in the name of Jesus. Oh, I pray somebody's praying this morning for the fruit of the Spirit for our children that they may manifest in love that they'll be filled with joy that peace Marebo Shandarama will be their portion. They will always be patient. They won't rush to do things. They will be kind, but not foolish. They'll be good. That they'll be faithful in everything that they do. They'll be gentle and have self-control. Nothing but the Spirit of God will control our children. Against this, there is no law, so that no finger will be pointed against our children. And when the fingers are pointed, the fingers that are pointed will fail. The word of God says that they that will rise up against our children in judgment will be condemned in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Father, we thank you, Marco Sondorobo, because this fruit will manifest in the lives of our children now and always in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Amen. Can we please go to Exodus in chapter 7? Exodus chapter 7. I'm going to read a few verses. But there's something that I'd love us to look at there. Exodus chapter 7 from verses 8 to 12. Exodus 7 verses 8 to 12. You, you have the host right now. You can tell us to unmute and you can mute all of us if you want to. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Verse 8. Then the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron saying, when Pharaoh speaks to you saying, show a miracle for yourselves, then you shall say to Aaron, take your rod and cast it before Pharaoh and let it become a serpent. Verse 10. So Moses and Aaron went into Pharaoh and they did so just as the Lord commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. But Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. So the magicians of Egypt did in like manner with their enchantments. For every man threw down his rod and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. We're going to pray for the spirit of discernment for our children. It doesn't mean that everything that they encounter and everything that is done and everything they see is authentic because the world is showing similar traits as that of the kingdom of God. But the spirit of discernment would tell us which one is God's and which one is not. We have heard that everything good is not necessarily God's, but everything God is good. So now let us unmute ourselves and declare the spirit of discernment over our children that not just everything they see or everything they hear or everything they encounter is good for them to partake of or to listen to or to inhibit. May our children understand the things that our God and not. Let us unmute and lift up our voices and declare that the spirit of discernment 
in jesus precious name we pray amen hallelujah to jesus let us look at first corinthians chapter 15 verse 33 First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. I read, do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good manners. We're going to pray that the Lord will protect the good manners and the good habits of our kids because they will manifest the fruit of the spirit. And because they'll be able to discern, there'll be a lot of attraction to them. But the evil one will not be able to captivate them. Evil company will be far from them. They will not be corrupted. No virus in terms of human beings, in terms of what they read, in terms of what they watch, what they listen to in this world will be able to corrupt our children. Let us lift up our voices and begin to declare. We will unmute and declare to the Lord that our children are protected from evil company. They are protected from evil manners. Let us begin to pray. Let us lift our voices and declare. Father, Lord, we declare this morning in jesus name we pray no evil shall come near our children. Evil will see them and flee in the name of Jesus. Let's look at Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. Isaiah 30, 21. And it reads, your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. Whenever you turn to the right hand, or whenever you turn to the left, you will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. We are going to pray 
that our children will constantly heed to the leading of the Holy Spirit. They will hear the Holy Spirit say, uh-uh, don't go that way. They will hear the Holy Spirit saying, stay here for a while. They will hear the Holy Spirit saying, no, not that job, this one. They will hear the Holy Spirit saying, no, be careful how you are friends with that person. Move away. They will hear the Holy Spirit at all times, whether they turn to the right or to the left. Let us pray that the Spirit of God will sharpen their hearing ability and they won't hear wrong things. And even when they hear wrong things, they'll be able to tell, no, I'm going this way. No, I'm going to say another scripture, Job 32, 8 says, but there is such a spirit in man, Job 32, 8. There is such a spirit in man and the breath of the almighty gives him understanding. There is such a spirit in man and it is only the breath of the almighty that can give understanding. So as we're praying that the Lord will show our children, teach our children, sharpen them to be able to hear the spirit of the Lord. The breath of the almighty, which is the spirit of the Lord himself, will give them understanding in all things at all times and for all their endeavors. Let's unmute again and begin to lift our voices to the Lord, saying our children will know where to turn. Let's <laughs> Jesus name we pray amen and amen hallelujah let's go to Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3 Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed our children with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. This is our prayer for our children also this morning, that they will enact their blessing the heavenly blessing that will manifest by prayer as we convert it to earthly blessing in the name of Jesus, that our children will remain blessed, that our children in anything that they do, everywhere they go, they are blessed, they are favored, they are chosen, they are preferred, that they won't lack any good thing, that they won't suffer for need. They are blessed. Let's pray. Let us all pray that the blessing of the Lord, which makes rich and adds no sorrow with it, 
will be their portion. Let us lift up our voices and begin to pray once again. Bless me the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus name we pray amen 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 let's now go to the book of first john chapter 5 First John in chapter five, hallelujah. I'll read verse four. First John chapter five, verse four, amen. And the Bible says, for whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is he? Who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. There are a couple of things that we're going to be praying about here. First of all, we're going to ask the Lord to enforce our children continually, to, to strengthen them, to empower them, that they may overcome the world. And it is not by power, not by might, but by the Spirit of God that it is by faith, that the faith of our children will grow. They will continue to know the Lord. And as their faith grows, they will manifest the will, the way, and the word of God. And so overcoming the world becomes easy. It may be challenging, but they will face those challenges and they will overcome. That is what overcoming is all about. Now, who is he who overcomes the world? He who believes that Jesus is the son of God. Every day of their lives, they will look to Jesus. They will set their eyes like flints. They will not be shaken. They will not be moved by whatever is going on around them. Let some of their friends or let some of the people that they know, because I do not consider people who will be leading them wrong as their friends. People they know be doing worldly things. Our children will remain in the spirit. Our children will overcome. Let's unmute and begin to declare now that our children will overcome by faith. And that they will continue to believe in Jesus Christ. That he is the son of God. In the name of Jesus. Let us lift up our voices. 
in jesus name we pray amen 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 thank you lord jesus for answering our prayers uh, pastor Bim, it was as if you knew that this scripture was going to help us today let's go to psalm 91 we're going to read the whole chapter we're going to take them in beats and pray a few verses and then we read again we uh, pray another few verses psalm 91 i'll take first of all from verses one to four and i'm going to personalize it hallelujah because we dwell in the secret place of the most high we shall abide under the shadow of the almighty we will say of the lord he is our refuge and our fortress our god in him shall we trust surely he shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence he shall cover us with his feathers and under his wings shall we take refuge his truth shall be our shield and buckler amen so these first four verses we're going to declare concerning our children that the lord will keep our children in, their, in his secret place yes under the shadow of your and from the 
in jesus name we pray amen the bible says in psalm 34 somewhere that evil will slay the wicked not our children my labels and our children are safe from evil they are safe under the dwelling of the almighty yes because they dwell in his secret place ah he will always he will always be their refuge and their fortress they will always trust in him in the name of jesus and verses 48 say our children will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand shall fall at their sides and 10,000 at their right hand, but none of this dismay shall come near them. Only with their eyes shall they look and see the reward of the wicked. That is why evil will slay the wicked. It is not the portion of our children. They will only see it and they will rejoice that God has judged by himself. Let us begin to declare verses five to eight. Our children will, not, will never be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day. Let's lift up our voice. Let's unmute and begin to declare. Nor shall they be caught up in the pestilence that walks in darkness of the destruction no, no, no. that they create. Shall, shall, shall not be afraid of the destruction of this voice. Why not? in jesus name we pray amen 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 now verses 9 to 12 have this to say. Now, before I read verse nine, we started by praying to God to give us the ability to teach our children properly, to teach them in the way of the Lord, to show them the right path of life so that as they grow, they will not depart from it. Now, verse nine gives us a responsibility to deal with. And it says, because you, because our children have made the Lord, they have to make the Lord their own refuge. They have to 
determine that the Lord is their refuge. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. As we teach them, as we pour the life of God into them, as we show them the way, as the Holy Spirit teaches us, they will choose the Lord. They will make the Lord their refuge, even the most high, their dwelling place. Aha, uh -huh, verse 10, no evil shall befall them, nor shall any plague come near their dwelling. No evil shall befall them, nor shall any plague come near their dwelling. For the Lord shall give his angels charge over them to keep them in all their ways. Verse 12, in their hands, they shall bear up our children, lest they dash their feet against the stone so that they will not dash their feet against the stone. Let us begin to pray now that our children will make the Lord their refuge. We can unmute, please. We'll make the Lord their refuge and even the most high their habitation. Oh, yes, yes. You must make the Lord your refuge. It is my refuge. The Lord your refuge. Even the most high my dwelling Jesus name we pray. Amen. Verse 13. Our children shall tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent shall our children trample underfoot. Because our children have set God's love or their love upon God. They have set their love upon God. Therefore, God will deliver them. God will set them on high. Because our children know his name. Our children shall call upon the Lord and he will answer them. He will be with them in trouble. He will deliver them and honor them. With long life will he satisfy them and show them his salvation. Hmm. Our children shall indeed tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent shall they trample underfoot because our children set their love upon God, upon Jesus. Therefore, God delivers them. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. From verses 13 to 16, let us pray that this portion of scripture will manifest in the lives of our children. Hallelujah. Let us unmute and begin to declare. Our children shall tread upon the lions. Every confrontation will tread upon the lions. Every confrontation upon the because you have set your love upon the Lord, for He will deliver you. shall be bold and mighty in the land. The courage. Amen. 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 Amen.
Jesus name in Jesus name we pray amen we're still looking at this this last part of Psalm 91 verse 14 says because our children have set their love upon God may our children's love be for God more than anything in this life may they just love to love him one of the prayers that I love to pray is, God, help me to daily fall in love with your word. Help me to daily fall in love with the things that you love. We're going to pray that our children's love for God will not diminish, will not be tarnished, will not be distracted, will not be set out of place or out of line in the name of Jesus. And he says he will deliver them. Our children are delivered from any unnecessary space, from any unnecessary talk, from any undue life. And he says that he will set them on high. That means there's promotion for our children. Our children will always be promoted. They will be preferred. They will be first amongst equals in the name of Jesus because they know his name. They will continually know the name of the Lord. When they call upon him, he will answer, God, we will pray that God will not be far from our children. And they won't be far from him, first of all. Ah, and in trouble, they, he will deliver them. He will deliver them. He will deliver them. He will deliver them from any kind of situation that they may find themselves that is not favorable in the name of Jesus. And he will honor them. When they see our children, our children will be honored. They won't be disgraced. They won't be pushed back. They won't be downtrodden. They won't be neglected. They won't be ignored. I say honor is the portion of our children and they will live long. They will live long and they will be saved daily. Let us pray one more time about this and then we move on. Masundo, let us unmute and pray that our children will be honored, they will be promoted, they will be preferred, they will be chosen. Let us pray. Special grace in Jesus. in jesus name we pray amen before i hand over to pastor Bimi, let's look at revelations or revelation chapter 3 verse 8 Revelation chapter 3, verse 8. I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door 
and no one can shut it. No one can shut it, no one. For you have a little strength, but have kept my word and have not denied my name. Wow, I know your works. God will know the works of our children. They will see that he has set before them an open door that no one can shut. No one will be able to shut the doors open before our children. Even though they have little strength, all it takes is faith as little as a mustard seed. They will keep his word and they will not deny his name. When they are pair, it is the name and the word of the Lord that will define our children. They will walk through these open doors and all the benefits of the open doors will accrue unto them. Let's unmute now and say, Lord, look at the works of our children. Find them befitting for open doors. Find them befitting for open doors. Jesus name we pray um I heard something I read it actually of the internet a couple of years ago and the man was telling his child my son in this life you better watch where you walk watch your ways and the son replies and says no dad you watch your ways because i'm following you may the good lord like we started with today grant us the grace and the strength, the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding to lead our children in the right way, that indeed, when they grow, they will not depart from it in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor Gwemi, please. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, let's just go to Revelation 5 <clears throat> before we close. Let's go to Revelation 5. And we're going to pray, pray these blessings over our children, the mm -hmm. blessings obtained by Jesus himself. So I'm going to read quickly and um, we'll just pray for our children. So, and I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne, a scroll written inside and on the back, sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the scroll and seals. And no one in heaven on the earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look at it. So I wept much because no one was found worthy to open and to read the scroll or to look at it. But one of the elders said to me, do not weep. Behold, 
the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has prevailed to open the scroll and to lose its seven seals. And I looked and behold in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as though it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. Then he came and took the scroll out of the right hand of him who sat on the throne. Now, when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb, each having a harp and golden bowls of, full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song saying, you're worthy to take the scroll and to open his seals for you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation and have made us kings and priests to our God and we shall reign on the earth. That's a portion of our children. Amen. He has redeemed our children by his blood. And this morning, the prayers of the saints are going up. Our prayers as parents are going up and we're saying, Lord God Almighty, our children will reign on the earth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And then if you go down to verse 12, it's the same with a loud voice. Worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and blessing. I want us to pray those seven things on the lives of our children. I say, Lord, by the power and the name of Jesus Christ, you will give them divine power. You will give them godly riches, divine wisdom, divine strength, honor, glory, and blessing, and they will reign on the earth in Jesus' name. I'm gonna ask us to unmute ourselves and continue to press in for our children this morning and say the things that have been redeemed, the things that have been obtained, they are for our children. and lastly we are going to agree that our children will not lack any good. Whatever the Lord considers good will not be lacking in the lives of our children in the name of Jesus Christ. Please unmute yourself and let's declare that together. Father Lord, we as I said earlier on, it's going to be a year that we've been praying every Monday for our children. So I'm going to ask you, so please give the Lord a big offering, and I'm going to explain it, a huge offering of bringing, of getting on your knees and asking God to give you 10 people.
to this uh, platform and 10 people that will stay. I want you to get on your knees and ask God to give you families to bring. That's what we're asking you to give to the Lord as an offering. Bring families, families that will also need to pray for their children. Things are going wrong with children and we need to pray. So it's going to be a year. It's going to be 12 months that we've been praying. If you can ask God for 10 to 12 families that you are going to bring and that will stay and pray for their children and start praying for that from today. Say, God, I want, he says, I will make your, even the heathen your inheritance. They may not know the Lord. Maybe this is what will lead them to the Lord. Be bold to invite people. That's what we are asking you to give to the Lord. Bring people to the Lord. Let's bring other families to the Lord. That's what we need to do now and bring more people into the kingdom of God. So I want you to pray for yourself and say in the next one month, God will give you people to bring to this platform. God will bring you people who will need to pray for their own children so that disaster will not befall their children. That is your offering unto the Lord. Bring other people, bring other families. Let's spread the word. Let's make sure that we are covering more children. So I'm going to ask you to unmute yourself for the last one minute and say, Lord, give me someone to bring. bring give me a couple of families to bring and let them be fruits that will remain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, in jesus name we have prayed let's just give him thanks as we go and please get on your knees and ask the lord to give you families to bring in the name of jesus christ Father, we thank you. We give you praise on mute as you go. Let's just praise him together. Lord, we just thank you. Week, everybody. God bless you. Have a glorious week. It is well with all of us in Jesus' name. Enjoy your week. It's going to be a glorious month in the name of Jesus Christ. The hand of the Lord will be upon us to do us good in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Wonderful, wonderful. Amen. Thank you, Mother. Thank you. Your children, their children, their children.